What's going on YouTube? So today we'll be going over the roster update, cashing in all of our investments and seeing how much stubs we made for today's roster update in MLB The Show 24. So if you guys like this type of content, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. Let's get into it. All right, first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the actual roster update that took place today. And as we go through the list, I'll let you guys know of the hits that we got so Mookie Betts goes to a 94 overall from a 91 Ron Acuna goes from a 93 to a 91 Fernando Tatis Jr. goes 90 plus to a 91 overall Aaron Judge drops to a 90 Zach Wheeler goes plus one Michael Harris plus one Adolis Garcia plus two Marcus Simeon plus one Trey Turner plus one Juan Soto plus two who um Ozzy Obbies plus one to an 86. Josh Naylor's our first diamond in this roster update at a plus three to an 86. Tariq Skubal's our second diamond, plus three to an 85. Corbin Carroll minus two. Jose minus two. Julio Rodriguez minus two. Francisco Lindor minus two. Vlad minus one. Tyler Glass now is a Third diamond at a plus one to an 85. And Cattell Marte plus one to an 85. Tyler Glass now is one of the actual investments that we had. We got him for 1700. He's on the quick sell for 3000 stubs. So that's a good amount right there. Matt Olson minus three. Corbin Burns plus one to a diamond. He's our next diamond. Austin Riley minus two. William Contreras goes diamond from an 82 to an 85. Luis Gurriel. Goes up to an 84, another investment that we had that we made some stubs off of. Quite a bit of stubs. Got him for 600. Going to quick sell him for 1,500. 900 stub profit for each one. We have over 200, I believe. Freddie Peralta gets a plus five to an 84. Tony Gray plus four. Craig Kimbrell plus four to an 84. Tony Gray plus one to an 84, by the way, not plus four. Gunnar Henderson plus two. Blake Snell minus two, Jonah Heim plus one, uh, Matt Strom, our first gold, I believe, maybe not, but maybe, plus four to an 83, followed by Dylan C, so plus four to an 83, another new gold, Yanir, Yan, I don't know, Yanir Diaz, plus one to an 83, we had him, we also got him at 900 stubs, we can quick sell him for 1,200, we made 300 stubs off of him. Uh, Aaron Nola minus one. JT Romuto minus two. Teoscar Hernandez plus one. I Imanaga plus four to a gold. Ranger Suarez went gold plus five to an 82. Emmanuel Clause plus one. We got him at 600 stubs. He didn't go up a lot. I think he, sh I think he should have went up more. We could hold him or we could take our profit, reinvest, and get our 300 stub profit for him as well at 900 stubs. Ryan Helsley went minus. I can, I'm actually surprised that Ryan Helsley went down, but we did not invest in him, so okay for us. Pavetta plus four to a gold. Josh Hader minus three. Bo Bichette minus three. Zach Gallen minus two. CJ Abrams plus five, so GG's to anyone who got him. Nolan Aronado minus two. Uh, Yimmy Garcia plus six to a gold. Ellie plus five to a gold. Cedric plus two to a gold. Taylor Ward. I told you if there was any angel that was going to get an upgrade, it was Taylor Ward plus three to a gold. Danzy Swanson minus two. Andres Jimenez plus three to a gold. Another guy that we had a decent amount of. Uh, Logan Gilbert. We also had some Logan Gilberts plus two to an 81. Stephen Kwan plus four to an 81. Uh, Christian Yellows goes gold plus four to an 81. Bar Show goes gold plus two to an 81. Alec Bohm plus three to an 81. Marcella Suna plus five to an 81. Tyler O'Neill plus six to an 81. Jeremy Pena, we also have him plus three to an 80. Ryan Mountcastle plus one to an 80. Salvador Perez plus five to 80. Young Ho Lee plus three to 80. Jose Barrios plus one to 80. Clay Holmes plus one to 80. 
Harrison Bader plus one to 80. Jason Adam plus one to 80. Patrick Bailey plus four to 80. Daniel Hudson plus two to 80. Yamamoto plus one to 80. Zach Eflin plus one to 80. A lot of gold. Shane Bieber plus two to 80. And that was our last gold upgrade. Now, let's see how much stubs we made. We have 12,000 stubs right now, as you guys can see. And we are going to basically go through each one of these and quick sell the guys that we want to quick sell. So, first up is going to be Tyler Glass now. He's going to be one of our main ones because obviously he went diamond. Uh, we also have some pre orders, but those take days to go through normally. So, I'm not going to worry about those. But we're going to quick sell our duplicates for Tyler Glass now. We're going to make 75,000 stubs off of him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we're up to 87,000. Remember, we started at 12,000. So now we're up to 87,000. Next up on this list is going to be Diaz. So we're going to go ahead. I'm, I could keep him, but I'd rather just take my stubs. It wasn't a big upgrade, but we will take that 1,200 uh, each. That's a 300 profit. We're going to get 123,000 stubs back for Diaz. That's 300 stub profit because we got him at 900 stubs. And when you quick sell, there is no tax. So you don't have to worry about that. Next up is going to be Guriel. This is going to be a big one because we have a lot of them. We have 253. He went up to an 84 overall. We're going to quick sell those for a whopping 378,000 stubs. We are making 900 stubs per card on that one. So 900 times 252,000. That is our profit on that one. Absolutely insane. We are now up to 589,000 stubs. We started at 12,000 and we got more to go. Uh, Clause, I think I sold his already. So his profit is pretty much already in there because we invested in some more players for him. I sold him a pre-update because he was going for almost 3,000 stubs because everyone thought he was going to go diamond. Um, if you guys don't believe me, I will show you guys. We'll go to view market, completed orders. You will see, oh, I sold him for 1,900. So I sold Clause for 1,900 uh, before the roster update. I sold him today at 7.39 a.m. As you guys can see, we can even search him up real quick. Clause right now is not close to nine. 1900 stubs so uh we definitely made we made 1700 stubs off of him i have it on the list so we made 53,000 stubs profit for emmanuel clase we sold him for 1900 and after tax we got 1759 back so there you guys have it uh that's how we made stubs off of him we sold him pre-update because there's a chance he didn't go diamond and he barely got upgraded so next up in that is going to be taylor ward so we're going to look at taylor ward now Let's check it out. And if you guys want to know what I did with Clause's profit, I put pre-orders in. So if those pre-orders don't go three, through, we just cancel them. And then we still got Clause's profit, right? But hopefully we get those pre-orders to go through. Taylor Ward went up to an 81. We spent 200 stubs on Taylor Ward. And we're getting back 600 stubs per one. So we are making 400 stubs profit on him. We're going to get 75,000 right there. So 664,000 stubs is where we're at right now. And we are not done. We Next up is going to be Jeremy Pena. So a lot of our investments all went up. Literally, I think everyone went up. Jeremy Pena, we had 57 of him. Uh, he went up to an 80 overall just barely. We'll quick sell that. We got Jeremy Pena for 153 stubs. We sell him for 400. That's 250 stub profit for each one. We'll take that right there. And no, we're not done. We have two more to go. And that's going to be Jimenez went up as well. So we're going to look at his. Uh, he went up to an 81. We had 81 of him. We're going to quick sell him and get our 600 stubs. 48,000 stubs for him. And now, last but not least, is going to be Gilbert. Like I said, I did the best ones first. And we're still holding on to a few guys that we have a lot of. Uh, but Logan Gilbert, 52 of him as well. Quick sell those. So, so today's roster update, we made 765,000 stubs. Uh, well, roughly around 750,000 stubs because we started around 12,000 stubs. We also have some pre-orders. I will show you guys uh, not exactly what they are, but I'll show you guys exactly how many. So we got Juan Soto. We got Gunnar Henderson. We got Josh Naylor. We got Tariq Skubal. And I think and we got Tyler Glass now pre-orders. Now we can simply cancel those. 
and get our stubs back but that's pretty much what we did with some of our other stubs we put them in pre-orders uh, a couple days ago uh, some of them today as well or last night but there you guys have it those are all of our uh, basically all of our investments how much stubs we made for each one of those investments if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to like subscribe for new turn those notifications on and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching